we're gonna do a transmission temperature sensor. So, step one, thank you Ford for putting a drain plug in here because Chevy decided we're too good for that. But, drain the transmission and then uh, get a 10 millimeter and we're gonna unbolt this all the way around. It looks like this one actually does have a double filter. I was mistaken. Excuse me. So, what we've got here is the transmission temperature sensor. What you're gonna do is twist it left whilst pulling down. And as it's twisting left and pulling down, it'll come out. There's a little clip here. I'm gonna have to use two hands. Pop the clip and you should be able to pull it apart. There's the old sensor on the right that we're replacing. There's the new one on the left. A hole, and you're gonna go in at an angle and then click, you'll feel it tap in. And then from there, we're gonna clean up this gasket area. We're gonna put a new filter in there and I'm gonna go ahead and bolt the pan back down. All right, now that that's all done, the pan is back up and torqued down. There's all the fluid that I got out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my spare little oil jugs here. I'm gonna fill it up so I can get a general idea of how much fluid came out. All right, that's almost empty. I've got to the top. I got about five and a half, well, just over six quarts actually. So what I'm going to do is start out with about six and a half quarts, topping that back off and we'll let it run for a while. I'll test drive it, see what the dipstick says. All right. So we've got my five gallon bucket of Mercron here. We filled that up. Gonna go ahead and get it over to the van. And we're gonna fill it up right through the dipstick like so. 